If you use Apple Pay on your iPhone, it's easy to add a card and make purchases using your Apple Watch too. You can set up Apple Pay on your Apple Watch by adding a debit or credit card to the Wallet app. To start, bring your Apple Watch and iPhone close together. Then, open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap Wallet and Apple Pay. If you use Apple Cash on your iPhone already, it's turned on automatically on your Apple Watch too. You can tap Add Card to add a new card, or tap Add next to the card that you use on your iPhone to add it to your Apple Watch. Follow the steps on the screen to finish adding your card. When you're done, card added and a check mark appear on your iPhone. If this card is the first that you've added to the Wallet app on your Apple Watch, it becomes the default payment card on your watch. You can change the default card in the Wallet and Apple Pay settings in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Your Apple Watch also beeps and displays a notification when you successfully add your card. Now you're ready to make a purchase. To use Apple Pay at a participating location, double-click the side button on your Apple Watch to open your default payment card. If you want to use a different card, you can scroll down to pick one. Then, hold the display of your Apple Watch near the contactless reader. When your payment is successful, your Apple Watch beeps and you feel a gentle tap. And that's Apple Pay on your Apple Watch. Get help finding lost devices and items and share your location with friends and family right from your wrist using Find My on Apple Watch and Watch OS 8. We'll show you how to use the Find Devices app and Find Items app to help locate things like a lost iPhone, iPad, or an item with an AirTag attached. We'll also show you how to use the Find People app to share your location with others. Let's start with Find Devices and Find Items. When you're signed into your iPhone with your Apple ID and have Find My enabled, it will be automatically set up on your Apple Watch. On your home screen, you'll see the Find Devices, Find Items, and Find People apps. You can get help locating a missing item, like a wallet with an AirTag attached, in Find Items. Or, for help finding a device, open Find Devices, select a device, and then scroll down to view your options. With Notify when left behind turned on, you'll get a notification on your Apple Watch if you wander too far from your device. If you've lost your device and think it's nearby, tap Play Sound, and you'll hear this chime. You can also tap Directions to see your device on a map if you want to head to its last known location. If it's far away, or in an unknown location, you can turn on Lost Mode, which remotely locks the device with your passcode and lets you display a message about how to contact you if it's found. The device must be connected to the internet to turn on Lost Mode. With Find People on Apple Watch, you can share your location with friends and family. Open Find People from your home screen. Here, you'll see friends and family that you're sharing your location with. Scroll down and tap Share My Location. To find a contact, you can either tap the microphone to use dictation, tap the number pad to enter a phone number, or tap the Contacts button and select the contact you'd like to share your location with. Choose how long to share your location for. Your friend will be notified that you're sharing your location with them and can choose to share theirs back with you. And that's how you can use... With voice control, you can navigate your iPhone and iPad with just your voice, which is helpful if you have limited mobility. We'll show you how to turn on voice control, how to use gesture commands, how to use overlays, and how to pause or turn off voice control. First, let's turn on voice control. You can ask Siri to turn on voice control, or you can turn it on in settings. Just scroll down and tap Accessibility. Then tap Voice Control and tap Set up voice control at the top of the screen. 
Voice control requires a short download before it's ready to use. But after that, it doesn't need Wi-Fi or cellular data to work. Now you can begin navigating your iPhone with just your voice. When voice control is turned on, a blue microphone appears in the top left corner of your screen. Let's check out some basic screen navigation commands. Go home. Swipe left. Swipe right. Open notes. What can I say? This brings up a list of some of the most useful voice control commands. You can say, go back, to return to the previous screen. You can also make various adjustments in Control Center. Let's turn down the volume. Open Control Center. Turn down the volume. Perfect. To see a list of all the commands you can use, just say, show commands, for a glossary in the voice control section of your iPhone settings. There are three different screen overlays you can use with voice control to make it easier to interact with on-screen elements like buttons or sliders. Depending on the app or what you're doing, one overlay may be more helpful than others. Let's say we want to take a photo. Open camera. To show the names of the buttons on screen, say, show names. For this picture, we don't need live photo on. Let's turn it off. Tap live photo. Now, let's select a spot on screen to set the camera focus. Show grid. This overlay is helpful if you want to interact with a specific point on screen. Let's focus in on grid 15. 15. 7. 5. There we go. If you don't know the name of a button, you have other options too, like number labeling. Show numbers. This adds a number to things like buttons and links that you can tap. Show numbers continuously. This will keep number labeling dimmed on screen until you speak a command. Now, let's take the photo. Tap seven. Ta-da! You can say, hide numbers when you're done. If you want to stop voice control from listening to your voice commands, you can say, go to sleep, to pause it while it runs in the background. To have it start listening again, just say, wake up. Once voice control is set up, you can also use Siri to turn it on or off. Now that you know the basics of voice control, discover what other commands you can use to navigate your devices. Swipe left. For more helpful accessibility tips, check out our playlist on the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.